Hello everyone, Kyungjae Lee here. In this video, I'll be doing a live demonstration to show you how this group chat application actually works in reality. Here's the scenario. We'll be setting up total 5 clients, 3 of which will be in the same network as the server, and the other 2 will be in the different network. This is to show that this application works across the network. For clarity's sake, we'll name the clients local 1, 2, 3, and remote 1, 2 based on where they're located with respect to the server. Now, the fun part. Let's compile and run the program. This will be the server window, uh, local client 1, local 2, and local 3. Here we go. This is how you compile the server program, and this is how you run it. Please note that you need to set up a dedicated port for the clients outside the network to be able to reach the server process. This little tweak is called port forwarding and is done your default gateway or the router. Anyways, the server is running and let's compile the client program. And this is how you run the client program. The first argument is the server's IP address. Since it is the local client, we'll be just using the loopback address. But when it comes to the remote client, you will have to use the server's public IP address. Second is the server's port number. And the third is the username. Really, it could be anything you want. Local1 has joined. As you can see here, Server prints out the client's IP addresses as they connect. Do you see these different IP addresses showing up when Remote 1 and Remote 2 have just joined? This means that they belong to the different network, and this is their own network's public IP address. Now let's give it a moment to see how clients talk to each other. Local 3 says hello. and remote clients are saying hi. All right, so this is what happens when the client enters queue to quit. Every client will get notifications like this whenever somebody joins or leaves the chat. Now local clients are leaving and joining back in. As you can see here, clients can join, leave, and join back in anytime and however many times they want. Sending the message, no problem. Again, clients can enter lowercase q or uppercase q like this to leave the chat. Great! So this is pretty much how it looks like. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.